Hello everyone, it's Grimbacore here. Today I'm going to be going through a plugin which I've made for the Steam Deck called the Decky File Server, which is available via Decky plugin, uh, a link to which I'll have in the description. You can find it on their store, uh, and it's called Decky File Server, so it's pretty easy for you to find. And what is it? So it is a way for you to be able to pick a folder from your file system, uh, from your Steam Deck's file system, and expose it as a website to your local network. So you can access it via your phone or via your laptop or computer and download files from it. Uh, this is particularly useful for getting screenshots, uh, videos, logs, th those sorts of things off of your Steam Deck without switching all the way over to desktop mode and doing some transferring or setting up sync thing or, you know, all these different things. Sometimes you want to take a screenshot or a video and quickly shift it off of your Steam Deck to put it on Discord, you know, or Twitter or something. So I'm going to go through quickly on how it works and just give you a rundown of what it is and why I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I did this for, I actually set this up for myself because I was trying to share uh, Street Fighter 6 clips uh, with a friend and it was just, it was a nightmare. And I just, I ended up building this plugin as a result of that. So uh, if you're familiar with Decky, uh, you, I've already got it installed here, it's called Decky File Server. So we click onto this and we've got two options. We've got Enable Server, which we'll do in a second, and we've also got Settings. So in settings, you can select the folder that you want to expose and show as a web server. It should note that you don't don't want to run this on uh, on networks that aren't your own, typically because you're exposing files which could, you know, have maybe sensitive data or something. Especially if you're doing what I'm going to do here, which is show, uh, share my home directory, which can have quite a lot of stuff in it that you've used or downloaded. So. We are actually just going to pick home deck. We're quite happy with this. It's going to be a good example. Uh, the port you can change. Uh, you can just keep it as it is, but if you try to run the server and it says, hey, the port's in use, just change the number um, and it, you know, it'll work fine. Once we've done that, we're going to enable server. And now it is accessible via other devices on the same network. And to access it, you've got here a server address, Steam Deck, and the IP address. And note it's HTTPS, then the address, then the port number. So I uh, already have this page up. So let me switch to it. Can I do this without removing myself? Yep, perfect. So here, I'm just gonna refresh. It's not showing, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we fixed it. So this is what the page looks like. And um, this is how it looks on a mobile. So I've, I've got this on a mobile, uh, you know, um, page. And you can see we can scroll through. We've got different files. You can see I've been trying to test Grimba hack on my Steam Deck, which is something else I've been working on. It's a mod for a game. And you can go into any folder, basically. So here we can go into documents. We've got Decky file server in here. We're going to downloads. Got some files that I've downloaded. You can see I'm trying out some multi blood. Um, and videos. These are things, these are files that I've downloaded from Decky. And to download any of them, just click them. You'll see it downloaded. It's just off the screen at the moment, but it's downloaded. Now, from here, from your home, if you're familiar with Linux, you know there's a bunch of hidden files and folders, right? So you can go show hidden files and folders. So it will give you access to things like uh, your dot config and, uh, you know, you've got everything in here. You can also sort alphabetically and reverse sort and you can also hide the files and folders. So do know, um, I've got it shared from home. And um, so you can access all the different, you know, uh, subfolders. So here we can go down into the plugins, go into my plugin. So you can see everything subsequent to that. Uh, that's a child of that rather. And you can go back. And that's pretty much it. Um, the major thing to know is that um, the file server will automatically time out after one minute and the basically so if you don't if you don't access any page if you just leave this page up for a minute and do nothing and or just don't load up the page at all the uh, the file server will time out after a minute on its own and that's just so you don't accidentally leave the file server running for like days and days and days it's just to protect yourselves um and gives me better peace of mind that people aren't accidentally going to expose files to people that they don't want to because, uh, you know, you go out and you connect to a local Wi-Fi. Uh, that's it, basically. That is a, it's a very simple plugin. It's meant to be simple. Um, give it a try. 
uh, I found it very useful. I, I find I use I don't use it for days, and then I need to use it uh, to get like videos. It's mostly videos, you know, through Deku uh, Deku Recorder. So yeah, anyway, have fun.